accumulated enough confidence to actually paint big canvases in my bedroom while my husband and I binge watched Netflix shows. And I'd never painted in front of him before this, even though we go back 25 years. Hello and welcome to Callum Connect's micro podcast. Our guest today is Shana Sood. Shana is an artist along with being a marketing and analytics executive at a Fortune 100 company. Her art is currently at display in the Patriot Place Artists Studio and Gallery. My hurdle as an artist was mainly around having it become part of my daily routine. Uh, You know, despite having a busy corporate career and two kids at ages where they are constantly demanding attention. Um, Even though I had always been interested in art, I actually became a serious artist following a daily drawing challenge by a friend. And as silly as it may seem, uh, this challenge is what was a crucial turning point because it became a forcing mechanism for bringing art into my daily life, which could no longer remain a hobby I indulged in when everything else has been taken care of. So the first step uh, was to make my art paraphernalia much more accessible and give up my sacred hidden painting spaces in the house where no one else could enter and see me paint. Um, I bought this small 4 by 6 inches sketch pad from Amazon and carried this sketch pad and pencils everywhere with me so that I had something to show at the end of each day. This is something that really opened me up as an artist and gave me the courage to draw and paint in front of others, something I had never done before. Slowly, I accumulated enough confidence to actually paint big canvases in my bedroom while my husband and I binge watched Netflix shows. And I'd never painted in front of him before this, even though we go back 25 years. I was very shy as an artist. The daily drawing challenge was akin to following the principles of the book Atomic Habits even before the book was uh, released. The book basically gets into how you can make what you're passionate about a daily habit uh, by making it a daily routine. But because human beings are wired to conserve energy, you have to start with the most atomic part of uh, whatever that goal is. So if you're a ballerina or an aspiring ballerina, at least tie shoelaces every morning. Uh, That was one of the stories. So for me, it was how do I make the smallest part of art and being an artist a part of my daily life? I have continued the practice of doing something related to art every week, if not every day. And by the way, owing to all the work I produced over the last four years, I actually got the courage to approach a few local art galleries. And now I'm an anchor artist at the Patriot Place Art Gallery in Foxborough, Massachusetts. I also have an elaborate studio in my basement where my kids and I paint together at least once a week. I'm finally redesigning my website where I'll be listing my paintings for purchase and working on an Etsy store for people who would like to buy prints of my work. And in all of this, what has truly helped me stay in touch with my art is breaking it down into something that is always just an arm's length away. A sketch pad on my nightstand, an easel by my bed, art supplies in every room. It does give uh, my husband, uh, you know, a lot of heartburn every time he sees a speck of paint on his bleached white towels. Uh, But my kids and I are loving the art journey we're on together. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc. 